This video is about how to construct a unit circle. First of all, let's look at in a circle, what's the coordinate for x and y? We have uh, this uh, right triangle. For angle theta, we know opposite side will be y. And our adjacent side will be x. Hypotenuse will be this arm. According to the Sokantova, we know that sine theta equals y over r. For cosine theta equals x over r. Then we solve for x and y to cross multiply. We got x equals r times the cosine. For y, we do cross multiply. We got y equals r times the sine theta. Therefore, let me write down over here x equals r times the cosine theta. y equals r times the sine theta. This will be the coordinate for any point in a circle. What's a unicircle? Unicircle means uh, any circle whose uh, radius equals uh, 1. Suppose this is a unicircle. We know radius equals 1. Therefore, we plug in here. We got cosine theta and y equals uh, sine theta. In other words, for a unicircle, r equals 1, then we have coordinate x, y will be cosine theta and sine theta. This is a very important fact when you construct a unit circle. So let me write down here. Any point on a unit circle, the coordinates will be cosine theta and a sine theta. First of all, we will use the different color to connect this line. For the red line on the first quadrant, we label as 30 degree. And for green one, that's 45 degree. Then for the blue one, it will be 60 degree. This will be 0 degree, here is 90 degree. We call any angle for the first quadrant. We know this is the first quadrant. Second, third, and a fourth quadrant. For the first quadrant angle, we know the angle will be between 0 degree to 90 degree. We call this is a reference angle. Normally, we use a theta prime to show that. In other words, the any angle in the first quadrant we call reference angle. So it will be equals theta prime. For second quadrant, we can use reference angle to show any angle in the second quadrant. It will be 
theta equals 180 minus the reference angle. For third quadrant, we can use the theta equals 180 plus theta prime means the reference angle. For fourth quadrant, angle will be 360 minus the reference angle. We know that uh, this x-axis, this will be a zero degree. This is a 90 degree, 180 degree, 270 degree, and uh, also we have 360 degree. So for a second quadrant angle, we can use 180 minus uh, your reference angle. Then the third quadrant, we use 180 plus uh, reference angle. Then for the fourth quadrant angle, we use uh, 360 minus uh, reference angle. Now you can count uh, 0, 30, 45, 60, and a 90 degree as a reference angle. So for the second quadrant, you got to do this uh, calculation. For red line, that means the reference angle will be 30 degree. So for second quadrant, I use uh, 180 minus uh, reference angle means 180 minus 30, I got 4 third quadrant, we know that 180 plus reference angle means uh, 180 plus 30 degree, that's uh, 210 degree. For the fourth quadrant, we use a 360 degree minus uh, reference angle. 360 minus uh, 30, you will get uh, 330 degree. Now let's go to green line. Green line that's a 45 degree. So use 180 minus 45 for the second quadrant angle. That will be 135 degree. For third quadrant, we got 180 plus 45. That's a 225 degree. For fourth quadrant, we got the 360 minus 45, that's a 315 degree. Now let's go to 60. For the 60 degree as reference angle, then for the second quadrant, you will get uh, 120 degree. For the third quadrant, 180 plus 60 got 240 degree. For fourth quadrant, use a 360 minus 60, that's a 300 degree. Let's look at the angle fall on the x axis and the y axis. We already know that this will be 180 degree. Here's a 270 degree and a 360 degree. When you do this, remember the same color line, they have the same reference angle. So let's go to gradient now. For 30, we know that's a pi over 6. For 45, that's a pi over 4. For 60, that will be pi over 3. 90 will be pi over 2. 
and a zero still zero. For 360, that's a 2 pi. So 180 will be pi. And a 270 will be 3 pi over 2. Let's talk about for angles in quadrant 2, 3, 4, how to use the reference angle to show that. Now let's use a radian. First, uh, quadrant still the reference angle. That means uh, this part we have uh, 0 to pi over 2. So for second quadrant, since 180 equals pi, I can write down theta equals pi minus the reference angle. For third quadrant, I can write down pi plus reference angle. For fourth quadrant, I can write down 2 pi minus the reference angle. You can do the calculation to figure out uh, all the angles uh, in quadrant 2, 3, 4 in reading. But there is a shortcut for special angle pi over 3, pi over 4, and a pi over 6. That's uh, count as pi over n. So if a pi over 3, pi over 4, pi over 6 as a reference angle, then the second quadrant angle will be n minus 1 over n pi. For example, for pi over 3, when n equals 3, the second quadrant angle will be 2 pi over 3. When n equals 4, n minus 4 means 4 minus 1, that's 3 pi over 4. When n equals 6 means 5 pi over 6. For third quadrant angle, we can write down n plus 1 pi over n. In other words, when n equals 3, then n plus 1 will be 4 pi over 3. When n equals 4, you will get 5 pi over 4. If n equals 6, you will get the 7 pi over 6. For fourth quadrant, the angle will be 2n minus 1 pi over n. For example, if n equals 3, then 2 times 3 minus 1, that will be 5 pi over 3. If n equals 4, you do 2 times 4 minus 1, that will be 7 pi over 4. And uh, if n equals 6, you will do 2 times 6 minus 1, that's 11 pi over 6. So now you can check uh, that uh, line for the same color. Then you can write down all angles uh, for different quadrants uh, in reading. So for this uh, red one, we have second quadrant, that's uh, n minus 1 pi over n, which means uh, 5 pi over 6. For third quadrant, it's n plus 1 pi over n. That means 7 pi over 6. 
for fourth quadrant, you will get 2 times 6 minus 1, that's 11 pi over 6. Let's go to green 1. So that's reference angle means pi over 4. Therefore, for second quadrant, we got 3 pi over 4. For third quadrant, we got 5 pi over 4. The fourth quadrant, we got 7 pi over 4. Let's go to blue line. Reference angle will be pi over 3. Therefore, we got 2 pi over 3 for second quadrant. Got 4 pi over 3 for third quadrant. And uh, 5 pi over 3 for the fourth quadrant. Now let's work on the coordinates uh, for each point. First of all, we already figure out here for a unicircle, the coordinate will be cosine theta, sine theta. Let's discuss the coordinates for each quadrant. We already know that uh, for a unicircle, the coordinates is uh, cosine theta, sine theta. Let's add one more, tangent theta. That's uh, x, y, and then over here is, will be y over x. Because tangent theta equals sine over cosine. So let's talk about these uh, quadrants, first, second, third, and uh, then the fourth. We already know this will be positive x, negative x, positive y, negative y. So for first quadrant, we got positive x, positive y. Second quadrant is negative x, positive y. For third quadrant, that's a negative x, negative y. Fourth quadrant will be positive x, negative y. We can label for unicircle that each point coordinate will be CST, means cosine, sine, tangent. So let's label as CST. First of all, we will work on that uh, sign for tangent this time. So for third coordinate, it's y over x. Use y over x, we can decide the sign for tangent. So y over x still positive. y over x, this will be negative. And a negative y over negative x will be positive. Negative y over positive x will be negative. So we label as a C S T. C S T. C S T. C S T. Let's analyze uh, the sign for each uh, trig function for different uh, quadrant. Look at the first quadrant. Cosine, sine, tangent, all positive. So I will write down all here. Look at the second quadrant. Cosine negative and a tangent negative, but only sine is positive. So I write down S for second quadrant. For third quadrant, you could see that only tangent is a positive, so I write down T. For fourth quadrant, cosine is a positive, so I write down C. People make a sentence uh, to remember this. All students take K 
tell to us to remember for each quadrant which trig function is a positive. Now go back here. We know the coordinates will be C, S, T. And uh, all students take calculus. So for first quadrant, all positive, I will write down for cosine 0 equals 1. Sine 0 is a 0, then tangent is a 0. For 30, we got square root of 3 over 2, 1 over 2, then square root of 3 over 3. For 45 degree, we got square root of 2 over 2, square root of 2 over 2, and a 1. For 60 degree, we got 1 over 2, square root of 3 over 2, and a square root of 3. Remember that's a CST. That's the coordinates for each point on the unit circle. For 90 degree, we got 0, 1, and undefined. Now let's write down for the coordinates of each angle in different quadrant. If it's the red line, that means uh, whose reference angle will be 30. In other words, their coordinates will be almost the same as uh, 30 degree. That's a square root of 3 over 2, 1 half, and a square root of 3 over 3. Then you can analyze for each quadrant which trig function is a positive. Then the other two must be negative. For example, for the second quadrant, we know sine is a positive means cosine and tangent are negative. Now I finish labeling the coordinates for each point according to their reference angle. Then I decide the sign for CST. Look at the second quadrant first. We know that uh, only sign is positive, means uh, middle one is positive. The other two coordinates uh, will be negative. Therefore, I put the negative sign for first uh, and then the third coordinates. Negative 0 still 0. For third quadrant, tangent is a positive. Therefore, means uh, the third coordinates is a positive. Then the first two coordinates must be negative. Therefore, I put the negative, negative, yeah, negative. Negative 0 still 0, then I have negative 1. Then for the fourth quadrant, means the cosine is a positive. According to CST, means the first coordinate is a positive. The other two must be negative. So put the negative, 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 negative. We know negative 0 is still 0, so we don't put that negative 0 there. And also over here, that's a 0. So we already finished constructing a unit circle. And I remember that uh, coordinates uh, for the unit circle are C, S, T, means cosine, sine, tangent. And uh, each trig function has a different sign for different uh, quadrants. We use all students uh, take calculus to remember that. 
That means for second quadrant, only sine is a positive, cosine and a tangent will be negative. For third quadrant, tangent is a positive, which means uh, you will have a negative cosine and a negative sine. For fourth quadrant, only cosine is a positive, means uh, your sine and a tangent will be negative.